Hello all you lovely people you. I am currently in Budapest. Some things you should know straight off the bat. It's separated down the middle by the river Danube which means you get some amazing waterfront walks and lovely place just to sit and eat and drink along the water. Another thing, it's, it's so pretty. The architecture is just gorgeous. You can see behind me there's the parliament building in the background. It's, it's a very nice place. They don't use the Euro here, they use the Hungarian Frint, so something to be aware of, which I only found out just before I came, but luckily did before I packed all my Euros. They pretty much speak fluent English here, so language is not an issue, because Hungarian's not even close to any languages that I have learned anything of, like Spanish, French, Italian, it's completely different, but um, the language barrier hasn't been an issue at all. Another thing to know is that it is very cheap. Whatever you plan to bring with you, like spending money, let heart of it. You're not going to need it all. I've, I've not spent anywhere near as much as I thought and now I've got all this front left over so I might have to just go shop here and bring back some goodies for people. So I've been here for three days. This is actually my third and final day here. I haven't taken you along with me yet because I haven't been feeling too great the past couple of days and didn't feel like chatting to the camera. So I'm here at the Royal Palace now. I'm going to check out the changing of the guards because that's meant to be quite exciting to see. That happens on the hour every hour. So I'll go check that out. And then later on, I'm going to go and find somewhere comfy to sit and we'll have a chat and I'll take you through what I've done while I've been here. inside in the warm, got myself a nice cup of tea. So yeah, it's a bit colder today. Uh, Monday when I got here, it was 26 degrees, sunshine, really hot. And then it dropped about 10 degrees and became windy yesterday and today, but I'm not complaining, it's still lovely here. When I first got here, I went for a walk along the waterfront and that was lovely. If you know me, you know I love a walk along the waterfront and so there's tons of these like statues all along the water and the shoes on the Danube were one of those. I uh, got to the parliament building which was just absolutely beautiful. I think that's the thing about being on the waterfront, you get to see buildings so much better because you get to see them from afar and over an expanse of water, it's just lovely. So I walked up to Margaret Island and had a wander around the island. It's in the middle of the river and you can access it by road, well, by bridge, from either end of the island. And it's really strange, like, it's quite nice, but it looks like they're doing a lot of it up, so I think it, once stuff's sorted, it'll be even nicer. Then next, I walked on to Matthias Church on the other side of the river, so on the Buddha side, and had a wander around the church, which was okay. Um, and went up the bell tower which was really nice there were some incredible views from up the top of the bell tower so that was good and then i wanted to go and see the cave church in inside gellert hill and there's a park all around that area so i thought oh i'll check that out not realizing that it's all a big just a giant hill which was fine it was intense intense walking but it was worth it like up the top there's this little city market stores and bits and pieces and it's really pretty gorgeous views and then saw the church in the cave which is man it's a man-made cave and that was quite nice to see it was strange i guess because not seen anything like it before. Then I walked back across the river over Liberty Bridge and yeah there's a lot there's a lot of really nice bridges actually but I walked back across and went to Central Market Hall which is a ginormous market. Yeah, fruit and veg and touristy bits to buy and all sorts of stuff really and had a wander around and some dinner and that was pretty much it. And then the next day, I got up and was going to go to the big park and the baths that are there. 
and instead of getting the metro I wanted to walk I quite always quite like to walk because you get to see so much more en route and I ended up stumbling across what looked like a Christmas market but it was actually a spring festival thing so I had a look around that and actually went back there for dinner which was very naughty I had langos which if you've not don't know what it is I think it's traditionally Hungarian and like this flatbread smothered in sour cream and smothered in cheese so very healthy. I saw St Stephen's Basilica and walked up to the city park saw this gorgeous little castle it looked so magical and wandered around the park for a bit went to the bar chilled out in there there's a zoo there that you can go to as well but I didn't fancy it there's just so many more other things that you can do and uh, been to zoos plenty of times so I wanted to see other stuff and then I went through I had some goulash soup which was really yummy mainly just uh, I think slow cooked beef and veg but it was good and saw the great synagogue which is actually shut all the while I'm here so unfortunately I won't be able to go inside but gorgeous another gorgeous big building as all of them are and then I went and found out what a ruin bar is and went in Plakert, I think. Beautiful, beautiful place and there's lots of them around there. It's like an old ruin building and they've just kind of left it as is almost and made it into a bar. Yeah, it was great, great atmosphere. And then today I've had another wander along the waterfront. I've been wandering around the bits that I haven't seen yet. And I've gone round to the Royal Palace and had a look there and there's some museums and art galleries that I could go into but I just didn't fancy it today. I didn't really want to be inside, she says while well, inside now, but I'm just stopping to have a cup of tea and chat to you guys and I, I just, I'm not in the mood for, for that so I'm not going to do it because you don't have to do all the touristy stuff when you're in a place, you don't have to do anything, you can do what you want when you want to do it. So that's what I'm doing, I'm having a nice cup of green tea and then I'm going to carry on wandering, I'm going to look around the market some more, I'm going to try and spend some of my money that I've got left, which I'm sure won't be too difficult. And that'll have been it. I am definitely going to be coming back to Budapest. I've actually fallen in love with the place. It's somewhere that I can easily come for a long weekend, so I will look forward to coming back again in the future. So thanks for listening to me and putting up with me rambling on and uh, see you again soon. Bye.